found a quite little shop right behind me that's got the most unique treasures for anyone. So I thought we'd go in and meet the shop owner and see what types of treasures may be inside Earl's Cove. Let's go, come on. So I've made my way in to Earl's Cove and I'm here with the shop owner, Miss Paige, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for coming, Mandy. Yes, I'm very excited. So the name has me first, Earl's Cove. Tell me a little bit about the name of the shop. Okay, well, let me back up a second. When I was in my 20s, I lived um, over on the Western Shore uh -huh. in Olney, Maryland, and my mom was a very successful real estate agent. Nice. And she said, I couldn't figure out what to do. I'd studied theater, I was running around with no work, and she said, Paige, you should open an antique and wool shop. There you go. And I said, Mom, I could never sit still that long. <laughs> so here I am 40 years later and um, Earl's Cove. And I'm, I found a wonderful man whom you all know as Ben Tillman. Yes. And uh, we're celebrating six years of marriage the end of the month. But I moved up to his home at the Hermitage and off of the Chester River, off of Tillman Creek is a cove called Earl's Cove. There you go. But hence what's, the name. Hence the name. But what's really interesting about Queen Anne County is there are two Earl's Coves. Wow. There's also an Earl's Cove off the Corsica. So that's a secret. So there we go. And I thought it would be great to um, invoke, you know, that old um, wharf trade, yeah. stuff coming in from exotic places and foreign, foreign countries. And um, so... That sounded like a good name to me. Perfect. So here we are. We're in the shop. And the shop, it's such a quaint. It's got. It's so homey, but it's so small, but it's got so much. So tell us, uh, what's in the shop? Yeah. Well, this is evidence of collecting for many years, as you can see. But I wanted to highlight art, uh -huh. antiques, and what I call niceties, okay. which are furnishings for your home. Okay. So it's not a whole set of anything, but it's unusual, one-off, or, or one item that might pull your decor together or just change things up a bit. Nice, and you were telling me you also have some local things, handmade cards, things like that. Local things is right. I have uh, fine art painting on the walls. As a matter of fact, um, if you can come with us over here, these are by a young man named Pascal. Oh, wow. Who is l born and raised right here in Queen Anne County, uh, nephew to Elise Murdoch. And he's done these two and the and the two black ones, nice. dark night ones, and the one over there of the landscape. Nice. I have some photographs from a very well-known photographer in Talbot County. We have Joyce um, Ziegler's paintings. She's a traveling brush out mm -hmm. of Talbot. We have two by Fern, our, our local celebrity artist from yeah. View in town. And I just try, I like to try and feature local art. The cards are handmade by Kathy Coppersmith. They're gorgeous. And uh, she's she's in town, and she provides these for me. So they're really like little works of art. You know, they're, they're not... So if you wanted to send someone something kind of... Yeah, it's a little more nice, something more special or... Yeah, yeah. it could be a gift in itself. Right. The Lovebird soaps are from two sisters in Delaware, and they're all handcrafted of all... Wow, they smell amazing. Natural ingredients. Yeah, olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, all kinds of natural ingredients on yeah. here. Yeah, now you can get these online. I sell them for the same price, but I have them here. And they Hence make... why you <laughs> shop local. We have teas from Africa. These are teas that are imported. Wow. And I've just started carrying the coffee. And all the proceeds from these teas and coffee go to help a woman's orphanage. Nice. In Kenya. But what's really cool is um, it's a little pricey. But the tea itself, each one of them has a different little inset. Yeah, I see that. And they're handmade. And on the back is an African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Isn't that sweet? Nice. Fine China. Yes, I really I feel fine like China. fine China is a work of art. And so many people say, oh, I don't know what to do with it. I can't put it in the dishwasher. It's old. Well, that's all true. But it looks so lovely on the table, and it can really dress up an event. Yeah. This happens to be Havlin Limoges, and it's a very um, interesting Yorktown pattern. When can they shop here at Earl's Cove? <laughs> Well, I am um, a, a sole proprietor, okay. so I have no help, and I, um, I do other things 
uh, with commitment. So <clears throat> I'm here Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Pending some family or charity event. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so they can get a hold of you? Absolutely. They can call me anytime, and I'm happy to come open the shop. So my phone number is 443-988-5874. And um, just call me and say, hey, I'd like to come by, and I'll let you know if I can, if I can open it the time they yeah, want. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I'm so glad we got to come today. We got to see all of the fun things in the shop and that's just a peek we don't want to give them everything because no. we want them to come and see the shop <laughs> well thanks for having us you're so welcome and we want people to know that centerville has some pretty cool shops in town you know the whole reason i i opened this store was to give people a reason to walk around the corner yes we're between the post office the library and downtown and i'm i don't have very much of an internet presence i don't ship so come out and see us yes <laughs> well there you have it shop local support the local businesses and go to the shops around the corner. We'll see you next week. Hey, so you've made it to the whole Around Town with Mandy episode. And you want me to come to your business? Oh, I'd love to. So look me up on Facebook or send me an email, farmerswife830 at gmail.com and I'll come to your business and you can be on Around Town with Mandy. Great! See ya!